Biggums was the opposite of small. She was a rhino after all. She is round in the middle with a horn on her nose, big bright eyes, and two pink bows. Biggums was always happy with herself, so the teasing came as a surprise. Her classmates snickered and laughed at her just because of her size. The teasing made Biggums forlorn, unhappy, and very sad. They teased and teased, they did not cease, and that made Biggums feel awfully bad. The girls made fun of Biggums, and the boys did too. They said mean things like, who would want to be like you? They knew they were wrong, but that didn't stop them from singing a very mean Biggums song. Biggums, Biggums, there goes Biggums, look at Biggums go. Biggums, Biggums, there goes Biggums, bigger than a basement floor. All that teasing made Biggums cry, so she went to her mother with tears in her eyes. Her mother wiped her tears away and had this to say, My beautiful daughter, it hurts to see you in this way. So I wish I could tell you it would all be better tomorrow. But I know these things don't magically go away. I'll tell you what Grandma once told me when I was teased. She said, when they call you names and when they are cruel, just remember to use the golden rule. Bigum smiled a very small smile and decided what she would do. Through her sadness and through her pain, she would practice the golden rule. The golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated, even when they call you names. When you want to shout, kick, and scream, the golden rule has to remain. And when you feel you can't take anymore and want to retaliate, remember the golden rule. Treat others with kindness instead of treating them with hate. It doesn't matter if your fur is brown or if your neck is long. It doesn't matter if we are all different. That doesn't make us wrong. It doesn't matter if you are teeny tiny or if you have pink hair. No matter what our differences may be, we should all be treated fair.